You know, I don't know how I overlooked it. I guess because of the transmission is solid mounted in place, I wouldn't suspect that the shaft coming out these bearings here can be adjusted up or down. Something I overlooked. It's pretty cool. They're actually slotted. Wrench on the outside, loosen them up and adjust it and take out the slack. So first of all, I want to say thank you to Mr. Adams. I created a video and showing and talking about how I was trying to fix this this side, this chain. It had some slack in it and I suspected what was happening was the axle was shifting and I did put a washer on the outside and that helped dramatically. It stayed on for the most part uh, but occasionally it did pop off. I was just frustrated. I was actually in the process of getting a new chain made for this unit and then the magic of the internet social media a very nice gentleman mr adams suggested in his manual i overlooked it i should have jumped in the manual and checked it out troubleshooting there's actually an adjustment in there to where you can adjust that the chain is so tight now there's no way the chain can come off let's get into the video Originally, I was looking for a walk-behind leaf blower, and I just didn't want another backpack on wheels. I, saw, I wanted something with the power to do the job and get it done. So I came up with this Billy Goat, the self-propelled. This is a 13 horsepower. Speed of the wind is 200 miles an hour. The air velocity is 2600 CFM. It does pretty well, and if you want to come on in here, cameraman, I'm actually controlling the spout. You could actually lock it in place where you ever where you want to position it. This here is the drive controller to go forward and you go about 2.6 miles an hour forward only. There's no reverse. Mosquitoes are ferocious tonight for some reason. Uh, air cleaner, gas tank on a four acre property. I use about a gallon and a half of fuel. Uh, other than that, it's no oil filter, just Change your oil down here, you can drain it and plug there. It does get a little messy. The only issue that I've had on the other side was the chain was coming off and it just needed a little adjustment. But thank you to Mr. Adams on YouTube. He made a nice comment, said check your manual and you could actually adjust the uh, gear drive in there and tighten up the chain. Well, that's perfect, it worked great. So my opinion on this walk behind Billy Goat, is it worth the money? absolutely so i want to thank everybody for watching and subscribing all the new subscribers that's awesome i'm going to try to get up some new content that's interesting but uh, i'm robert with open lawn maintenance thank you for watching